Hello Objective Seers, uh, Apple iDev here with the third video in our Learn Objective C tutorial series. Um, thank you guys for staying with me uh, during the break while I was in Israel. Uh, it's good to be back home. Uh, today's actually my birthday, so that's also good. And um, yeah, it's great that you guys uh, supported me. I doubled my numbers of both subscribers and viewers since I've been gone. And it's just been all around a great time. Um, having said that, we're going to jump right into it. Today we're going to talk about classes. Um, since uh, this tutorial series is for people who already understand another language and are trying to learn Objective-C specifically, um, I'm going to assume you guys know what classes are, and we're just going to talk about Objective-C classes in specific. Um, the first thing you know you need to know about Objective-C classes is that um, it actually looks like they're, it's two separate classes. Um, so to show you this, I'm going to open up a new uh, same project. Instead of hitting Shift-Command-N to open up a new project, you're going to hit Command-N for an Objective-C or to open up a new file. And in the new file, you're going to click Objective-C, or sorry, you're going to want to go to OSX, uh, Coco, Objective-C class. And you're going to hit enter, and you want your uh, you want this to be of type NS object, uh, and you want the class. We're going to call this shape. Uh, it seems kind of arbitrary, but this is going to build up for our next lesson, uh, which is going to be on inheritance. So, so here we go. The first thing you're going to notice is that on the left side here, uh, we have two files. We have shape.h and shape.m, and that's what I was saying. But actually, shape.h and shape.m together make up one class. Uh, and what this h and m mean is header and implementation. Um, it means, obviously, you have a header file, uh, which is this, and you have an implementation file, which is this. And right now, they look the same, but once we start building full programs, they're going to look a little different. Um, so what we're going to do is, in this... Uh, header file, we're going to notice uh, a few things. First of all, we have our uh, standard header comments, and we have our import for the foundation tool. Then finally, we have this weird thing that says at interface shape colon NS object at end. And what this means is that um, essentially this is the beginning of the interface. Uh, the class name is shape, and it's a, of type NS object. And what this is, is this is essentially your public API. Um, and this is anything you create in here is going to be viewable uh, by anyone who wants to see your APIs. Um, so, uh, essentially, that's what this is. Um, anything in your implementation file over here is going to be private. And you can see it imports shape.h. So, technically, they are two separate files, it's just one class. Uh, so, you can see it says shape.h um, as an import, and you have implementation. Uh, which essentially means that this is private. Anything in your implementation is something that no one else needs to see. Um, so, yeah, and that's what your implementation file is. You may be wondering, uh, so actually we're going to go back to H and then we'll do your uh, you may be wondering kind of thing. So what we're going to do in the H file is, first of all, we need to do uh, a few things. Uh, first of all, we're going to need to declare... Um, a few things. First of all, we're going to need to create something called a shape color. Um, and for this, what we're going to say is we're going to say shape color fill color semicolon and shape rect bound. What this is eventually going to do is it's going to give us sort of a printout in our console that if it were to draw a shape on the screen, it would tell you where it's going to draw it. Uh, how big it's going to be and what the color will be. Um, but in the meantime, um, we're going to do that, and we're going to create three methods. Uh, the first method, by the way, this is how you notate a method in Objective-C. You do the hyphen, and that's what lets it know it's a method. Uh, in parentheses, you're going to put your return value, um, and then you're going to say the title of the method. So we're going to say set fill color. And this is what makes Objective-C really readable, almost as English. Um, you're going to say a colon, which means that there's a parameter. And you're going to say shape color, which is the, um, the type of the, of the uh, parameter. And you're going to say fill color, which is going to be the name. So you're going to say uh, void method set fill color uh, takes one parameter. Uh, of type shape color called fill color. It makes it very readable. Uh, if you want to add more parameters, let's say we also, for set fill color for some reason, we also wanted to add our bounds, uh, and you'd say 
parentheses shape rect bounds. Um, so you can see you read it in a line, you can make it very readable. If you want to make it even more readable, what you can do is you can uh, hit enter here and you line up the semicolons. And again, you can see it just puts it in a column and you can have four, five, six, seven, eight parameters and they all just fall directly into a line. Um, it's very cool, very readable, very useful. Um, so that's just what you need to know about methods in Objective-C. Uh, so we're going to create two more methods. We need, our, we need to be able to set our fill color. We need to be able to set our bounds. And we need to actually be able to draw the shape. Um, and obviously draw is an action, so it won't take any uh, inputs. Um, however, what you're going to notice is we uh, have some errors because uh, we haven't actually declared these. So what we're going to do is um, up here, actually, before the uh, interface, we're going to do a few things. Uh, first, we are going to we're, we're going to create uh, an enum, a struct, and uh, some sort of weird thing that's sort of a method, but not really. Um, so for that, uh, we're going to put some space in there. We're going to say type def enum. And we're going to say k okay, red color k okay, color, I don't know, and the last one will be blue. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is more of a C thing, but um, all constants, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I talked about this in the last video, it's been almost two months now, um, but in objective, or in C, and obviously as well objective C, um, constants are not in all capital letters, they're enumerated by a K in front. Um, which is actually, te it's actually technically called a global variable, but for all intents and purposes, we'll call it a constant. Um, so, yeah, so that's just why we have the K in front. And it's just a convention, not a requirement. And, we'll let, and the second thing we're going to do is we're going to say type def struct, and we're going to say int x, y, width, and height. And we're going to say shape rect. Um, so we now have an object of a shape rectangle. And we have a shape color. Um, the last thing we're going to do is we are going to create a sort of method, in a sense. Um, and all this is going to do is it's going to take, uh, well, first of all, it's going to return an, an S string. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, a lot of our things like NS object, NS string are going to be preceded by NS, and that's just so all of the Objective C methods stand out from your own methods. Um, NS stands for Next Step, which is back when Steve Jobs created his own company, uh, which was called Next or Next Step Computing. Um, and so all so when uh, Next Step and Apple uh, merged, NS is um, just the prefix that they kept. Uh, rather than Coco or something like that. So just know that's what NS means. So uh, NS actually defines a class or an object of uh, Coco or Objective-C. So we're going to have NS string and we're going to call it and we're going to uh, call this method color name. And we're going to say shape color color and we're going to say ns, we're going to create a string object called color name. And we're going to say switch. Uh, our expression is just going to be a color. We just want an, a color input. Um, or name, or we, we're just using the color that we're getting inputted. Um, we want the case to be a K red color. And if so, we're going to set the string color name to red. Um, I have actually all of this typed out, so I'm just going to copy and paste that over here. Excellent. All right. So that's our switch. That's our color name method, and that's all we have to do. Uh, and you can see we actually typed a lot of code, 50 lines worth. Um, but you can see what that did. Uh, it gave us a nice setup in our um, 
header file and um, yeah so what error is it going to give me end of non void function Well, oh well, it doesn't matter, uh, there's nothing we need to return, but we can anyway, we'll just say return zero. All right, so that's that. So that's all we need to do in our header file. Next, we're going to go into our implementation file. And implementation, like I said, is private. Uh, but what you're going to ask is, what if we want something, what if we want to declare a variable or a method that isn't public? Uh, and the answer is, luckily, uh, we can do that. What error is it giving me here? All right. So what, you're, what we're going to say is, luckily, we can do that. Um, and for that, what we're going to say is we're going to say at interface, just like we would before, um, and we're going to say class name shape. But instead of this colon super class, what we're going to do is we're going to say parentheses. Um, and what those parentheses do is they indicate that it's still an interface, it's still private, but now it's inside of our, uh, but now we want, but it's still an interface, but we don't want it to be public. So that's going to be inside of our .m file over here. And let's say we wanted to create just, I don't know, a random integer, we'll just call it int random int. Um, we can do that now. Um, it's still a declared variable that's accessed, accessible throughout all of our implementation. But now you can see uh, it's part of our private uh, implementation, not our public API. Um, so that's a cool thing about Objective-C. Um, you can have uh, part of your API public and part of your API private. Um, and I guess that's one of the big things is that Objective-C does not have public and private keywords. Uh, you're never going to declare anything public or private. Uh, you're just going to be putting it in your header or implementation file. Uh, so the key about making something part of your API or declaring a variable or method, you can do the same thing with a method. If you wanted to say, you know, you can do the same thing like that. Um, that's the key. Uh, you're never going, uh, the key thing you need to remember is that it's shape, but it's parentheses instead of a colon um, and NS object. So we're going to delete that because we don't actually need any of that. And it's giving us an error that says incomplete implementation, and essentially that just means that we have methods declared here that we don't have implemented in our implementation file. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy and paste those methods. Alright, so now we have these three methods. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is we need to essentially implement these three methods. So it's all going to be relatively simple. Um, in set fill color, we want to take the parameter fill color and set it equal to. Or sorry, here we're uh, we're going to change this. Um, we're going to call that C because we have the uh, fill color type that we uh, or the uh, type or the. Uh, rather the uh, variable that we declared over here. So otherwise if we do that we have two fill colors and that's not okay. So we're going to say fill color equals C and that's going to set the uh, variable fill color. And that's going to set the fill color. Um, let's see, do we need the self there? Alright, we need the self. I'm not going to go over the self keyword. Um, right now. We'll go over it later, uh, but essentially just know that if it's not in the implementation file, uh, I guess this is something new in the newer versions of Objective-C that I'm using, or that we're using, um, but you need self. Right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to change this to just regular B, and we're going to say self dot uh, bounds equals B, and we're just going to leave draw um, empty. Uh, that's going to be implemented by uh, other subclasses in a later video. Um, but basically that was just to teach you how different classes interact, or how uh, header and implement implementation files interact with each other. Uh, gave you a brief, int brief introduction to methods, um, methods in Objective-C and uh, notation. 
And, um, yeah, it showed you a real life implementation of type uh, of type defs. So that's about it. Um, I'll post the next tutorial in just a bit on how uh, to use these, um, or on how to use this shapes class or shape class uh, in inheritance. Um, so that's about all for now, and I'll see you later. Please subscribe. Thanks.